Okay. The time exists a good day. Off the kind of a late start this morning. It is closing in on 11 o'clock in the a.m. and just getting the round going. Uh, starting here at the Mount View Cemetery, where I've got, of course, several vol traps to check. And then we're going to take a walk at uh, Bull Trail Park down to Spopikimi, check on the geese again, and look for wildflowers in the in the Bull Trail Park. It should be moss flocks coming out, maybe crocuses. We're, we're going to take a look at what's happening. Um, but yeah, it is Wednesday the 3rd of April 2024, and we are in the last quarter of the 6th of seven winter lunar cycles saw Aki some the duck moon and um, we'll see what's in store today I have a feeling with the weather warming up I'm gonna start getting a lot more wildlife calls um, I did have a call earlier this morning about a possible mange skunk sounds like he's lost all of his hair plus has uh or lost a lot of his hair plus it has diarrhea and stuff i think i'm gonna set up for a trap for that one tomorrow it's a little bit of a breeze out here today and it's the weather app on my phone says it's supposed to be windy all day so i don't know you know the extent to which i'm gonna narrate this video today but we're gonna take a walk and see what's going on and we'll start right here with our uh voles <laughs> Somebody move my trap. Son of a gun. Oh, we got a we got a little vole. <laughs> Is that a deer mouse? Anyway, we got someone. <laughs> so now I'm at Bull Trail Park, so-called Bull Trail Park. <laughs> this may be the route that I take the group on for my next eco tour I'm supposed to be talking about the water and well I should have done that on the Bottle Bottom Trail I already used Bottle Bottom for my last walk and talk with that with the uh, nature center so got to use something different I think down here Below the university, there's good beaver wetlands, and we can still see the waterworks across the river at Bottle Bottom to talk about too. Plus, there's this coulee, which is quite famous for um, being the coulee in which the Crees were basically defeated when they tried to uh, overcome the Blackfoot here in the last big Indian War. 1871 
and in this particular coulee we get some wildflowers that you don't see a lot of in Lethbridge like yellow bells and crocuses so I figured I'd walk it today to see what the how much time it took me to get down for one thing in preparation for that eco tour but also um, to see if I can spot any first flowers of the season I have heard reports from people that there are moss flocks flowers being seen moss flocks is a tiny little white sometimes pink flower um, that grows out of a plant that looks like moss that's why it's called moss flocks but so far not seeing anything I did end up catching four mice all deer mice at the cemetery traps this morning project continues there <laughs> gotta try to get rid of most of their rodents by May when they start their mowing again trails a little muddy today because the thaw is on uh, this is nice to see the uh, thatching ants are awake I was just thinking about looking out for more insects and stuff as I was walking along and right away boom thatching ants our largest species of ant. Well, not a single flower in bloom. Of course, I was on a northern facing slope, but I do happen to know that that particular coulee does get pretty early flowers so surprised not to see any examples but we might on the way back up into heritage into my neighborhood on this side for now though we are headed downstream to Spopikimi go see what's happening over there um, it's warm enough I should probably check on garter snakes and bull snakes this afternoon too while I'm out here so we got a few things to do down here poking around <laughs> so I am seeing a lot of these basking flies um, I thought they would be blue bottles but it doesn't look like it these guys look like something else See if I can try and find another example here. There's quite a few of them around. There's one. Yeah, I'm not sure what species this is. But doing that same thing like the blue bottles were coolie the other day which is taking in the sun rays it's a nice day of course I totally forgot my rattle today so I could end up getting beat up by a gander again <laughs> we're gonna find out pretty pretty soon we're almost to the river island just passing the owl wood the wide south pool of Spopikami. We'll come around that side of Spopikami on our on our return trip. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking there's definitely got to be egg caches today. We're more than a week past true Easter. You know, we've even passed the Catholic Easter, so they gotta have their eggs, right? We'll see.
tiger beetles have emerged. This looks like a black morph cowpath tiger beetle. Okay, here we go. That water's chilly. Yeah, I think it's a little bit cool and windy today for me to jump in. <laughs> I was thinking I might because I jumped in again yesterday, but I don't like this breeze. <laughs> I'm not afraid of the water, I'm afraid of the breeze. <laughs> there may still be no egg cash. Quite surprising. There's not very many geese out here on the Big River Island so far this season either. It's usually far more couples. are up to you. She was investigating this spot. Maybe she's getting ready to lay an egg. Yeah, they wouldn't have uh, taken off like this if they had eggs. Look at this big old gnarly piece of driftwood stuff. That's pretty cool. If I could think of something to do with it, I would do it. <laughs> That's a cool piece of driftwood. It's lightweight though. You'd have to treat it with something.
guys are not being defensive as if they had eggs. So they're off. And I know some people have suggested maybe, you know, it was an early Easter. But uh, it's not an early Easter, it's the full moon after the equinox. And when I look back at my photos and films and stuff, 2017, on April Fool's Day, there were rattlesnakes out, you know? So it's not too early. This is the first year uh, since I've been studying out here that there hasn't been eggs available on true Easter. And here we're here we're quite a ways after now. Anyhow. Back through the water. anyone I had expected but now that I see it I remember it being one of the earliest flowers um, I just don't remember its name but look at this little guy I'll look it up when I get home and put the name along with this bit of film but our first flowers of the season just really tiny right down low on the ground Nice. A couple of spoke beaks basking beside the beaver lodge. It's nice to see. I expected to see a goose sitting on that lodge with eggs by now, but it ain't happening. really expecting to see the first green shoots of golden bean popping out of this coal slag pretty quick. It should be on its way any time. In fact, I'm a little surprised there's not any heads popping up here already. I don't know. Let's check this other little bit of slag here. Yeah, this is all residue from from the coal mines and shit, but for whatever reason, there are certain plants that like to grow in it. Golden bean being one of them. Yeah, nothing yet. This will all be covered with golden beans very soon though. For uh, Apistiskit Satos, the flower moon. Walk in this slope here to check for emerging garter snakes and bull snakes. This is one of the areas where they, snaky areas where they den. <laughs> but I'm not seeing any. And I'm not surprised, even though the turtles are out. Um, we are still going to get some snow, apparently, tomorrow maybe. So, doesn't feel like that today, but... Maybe the animals' intuitions. The snakes, they know. <laughs> the turtles are all good. Their waters are open. The snakes, on the other hand, they come out, they're just going to have to go back in. Why waste the energy? I don't know. <laughs> it's probably not all that complicated. But, yeah. Nobody today. I guess that's going to be the end of this windy video. Just hitting the suburbs now. My neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, no snakes, but 
at least a few new things going on out here. Should start opening up every warm day now.